Hi everybody, welcome back to the den. Thanks very much for uh, watching. Um, apologies, not been on a great deal at the moment. Uh, I've got two things going on. One, a major uh, alteration uh, job going on at the house here. Um, unfortunately, not extending the den. I've had to uh, give way to my uh, my darling wife and uh, extend her part of the house. And uh, also, I discovered 3D printers in the meantime as well, so I've been spending a lot of time setting up those. But um, anyway, as the title suggests, we're going to be looking at um, a certain little modular here, Market uh, Market Street. Now, before we come to that, for those that aren't familiar with uh, modulars, um, <coughs> modulars, modular sets um, have been around. Uh, it was the 10th anniversary last year. Uh, they are essentially um, large-scale buildings, um, generally about a theme. Each each sort of module has a theme about it. Um, they're really, really nice. I mean, I have the vast majority of the collection. It is one thing that I, I personally wouldn't buy the leap in ones um, uh, for the new ones. However, I don't buy the you know Star Wars ones uh, from Lego because I'm not really interested in being a collector of those and I find that their prices are a bit ridiculous. However, I, I like building and that's why I use the leap in to build. However, with the modulars, <coughs> I like the, to keep the Lego uh, brand uh, for there. However, you know, contrary to that, we have the Market Street, which we're going to come back to uh, in a moment. But firstly, for those that don't know about modules, once again, they're a theme building. This is the, uh, I always have to remind myself, the Assembly Square. Okay, this was the model that was brought out uh, on the 10th anniversary of uh, Lego's uh, modular building range. And um, just to remind myself, I'll go through what they were. Um, starting from the beginning, we had um, the Cafe Corner, uh, we had Green Grocer, Fire Brigade, Grand Emporium, Pet Shop, Town Hall, Palace Cinema, Parisian Restaurant, or, uh, and Detective's Office, Brick Bank, and then finally Assembly Square. Now, uh, this year's modular uh, is the diner, and there she is. There's the diner, so we've gone to a theme of uh, American diner type thing, which is pretty cool. I'm going to put this around. This is a big kit, by the way, over 4,000 4, pieces in that kit, um, and one of the, big, the biggest modular they made. So here's the diner, which is the 2018 model. Um, always great with the modulars because um, it's about October time when people speculate what's the next theme. And then you tend to find out, I think it's around about the middle of December, we, we tend to find out what the modular theme was. And uh, the diner's really nice, so there's lots more to come. I would imagine we're going to see a hospital soon. But anyway, that's the um, 2018 version. So coming back to um, what's a modular and what's not a modular. So we were looking at the Leaping Market uh, Street. Okay, um, Many people thought that this was the first ever modular. The, the, the number one, the, the seed to start it all, but it technically for is not a modular. It's not a modular of the modular range. It was brought out as a separate, but I'm going to come back to make what it is making a modular and to prove that if we count up the um, ones up to the 10th anniversary and start with Cafe Corner up to uh, Brick Bank, which was the last one, uh, everything, that's your 10 sets, so that's your 10 years, okay, and um, the 11th year, of course, is Assembly Square. 12th year is the uh, created with the um, the diner okay but the developer or the designer or somebody who had influence on this said no this is a modular so they've now branded this and I think it's accepted in all circles or it was already accepted in all circles that this is the first modular so this is now a modular which makes the 10th anniversary a year late if you see what I mean anyway there we are. Okay, so um, there we have it. It's um, the Leaping version. And why have I bought Leaping over the original? Well, if you look at the prices, uh, we're not going to get into the prices of second-hand Lego. It's absolutely shocking. Um, for this, for an original, you'd be looking at somewhere seven or eight hundred pounds for an opened version. Um, obviously, there are sealed boxes. Don't know why people buy a sealed box, but some sort of trading in futures and things like that. You know, it's just that's what blows it out of the water, really, from that perspective. Cafe Corner, seven or eight hundred pounds. I've got a Cafe Corner, but I built an original from all original bricks. And I'll come back to a Cafe Corner story, actually, um, of how I actually got all the parts, of the original parts from other kits and the components and, and built my own um, thing, because you can get the plans online. And uh, you can get any plans online, but there was always unique bricks in these, okay? 
Um, the greengrocer, for instance, the green bricks that are part of the uh, greengrocer, they were an absolute fortune. People were selling them out for fortunes. Um, you know, <laughs> and they weren't in any of the kits, so there was a lot of uh, specific bricks which you couldn't build your own things. But I managed to uh, get around that and I built my own for the... So I don't have a box version, but to, my, to me it's an original. Um, to my mind it's, a, it's as original as you can get it. So this is the leaping version. I wasn't prepared to pay it. And of course we've now got... Uh, so Cafe Corners in at seven or eight hundred pounds. The Green Grocers is in seven or eight hundred pounds. Um, the fire brigade, I think it's coming in about two, three hundred pounds. From the fire brigade onwards, really, we're not seeing that stupid, stupid money. Um, but even so, still, it's three, four hundred pounds to, to pick up the kit. So, um, for those that haven't started collecting the modulars, um, we're still at uh, the, ooh, the, the, the cinema. That's on the retirement list now. So if you're watching this and you've not got a modular, you want to get into modulars, then the cinema is on the retirement list. I very strongly suggest that you get a copy of the cinema. It's a really nice model. And then oh, all the rest of them, Parisian Restaurant, uh, Detective Office, Brick Bank, Assembly Square, they're all still current. But don't forget, we will see one or two of those drop off as the year goes on. So you're really backfilling the ones that you haven't got. OK, so <clears throat> and leaping do all those and they look pretty cool actually. In fact, I was going to get myself some of the leaping, um, lepin, sorry, I was calling it leaping, we get corrected, lepin models for the modulars purely on the basis of extra floors because, um, I'm just going to do this, yeah, I mean, if you bought two sets of these, because they come apart like that, you just buy another kit and you can have another level and it goes up. Now, it might not suit this, but and things like Cafe Corner, where you can put two Cafe Corners together, look, making it look absolutely, it looks like a, a, a copy of Harrods or somewhere like that. It's just really cool. So you can actually build up all your things. And one of the other things they can do in China as well is uh, sell a lot of lighting kits so you can actually have more atmospherically lighted. But that's not what we're here to talk about. So there's a little potted thing about modulars. Okay, um, we did an unboxing of this. I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to set the camera up, talk about this particular model. I'm really pleased with this. Um, it's really nice. I forget the pricing. I think it's ooh, some about sixty pounds, seventy pounds, somewhere around there. Um, forgive me for not exactly, but if you, I, I mean, I always deal with AliSoft, AliSoft, AliExpress.com. Never had an issue, and these are particularly thing. But if you notice, actually, Lepin are getting a bit smart at the moment. Uh, all the wholesaler prices are because if you notice the main kits now, the diners already out of there, and you're going to be paying. I think they want something like ninety pounds. Well, it's, you're only twenty quid off a, a Lego box set, and in that case, we'll just go for the Lego version. You know, get um, get get your box and and everything else. Um, as for the removed ones, then uh, obviously. Uh, backfill as you as you go on but if you notice the ones further down things like cafe corner they're kicking in at around about 50 quid from uh, lepin um, which is much more reasonable obviously because the seven or eight hundred pounds new but you do you know what i mean with the with the things they seem to be taking the whole of the market i think the things like the millennium falcon will start to see prices drop so new models yeah they get them on the street very quickly and if you don't want to go the extra but if you notice the price components are getting very close to what lego's selling for anyway so just i just walk away from it and go yeah I'll, i'd like that new starship it's not something i want to pay lego price for but um and i'm certainly not going to pay lepin price because it's very matched i'll leave it for and i think we can see that millennium falcon at some point was like 180 pounds 190 pounds and we can't get the millennium falcon but has now been seen out on the streets i think some of the comments in the, in my uh, youtube so people have seen it for about 160 so i think we see a free fall in the price there down to <clears throat> pretty close but it's a big kit i mean it's a massive kit so you know it's pretty good value for money anyway let's stop rattling on going to switch the camera around let's have a closer look at what we've got here and uh, take it from there all right see you in a moment okay so here we are a uh, little bit of a close-up there i must change my angles on the cameras i'm, I'm <laughs> you know over shoulder but the problem is in the den at the moment we're absolutely rammed with stuff i don't seem to be able to put a tripod anyway so there's the frontage um <clears throat> we did do this on the unboxing but the manual once again i've never any complaints about the manuals i imagine they're a direct copy from the lego version but there was no problem with the manual this was a really nice build and that's why i love um modulars i, I just really get into the build i love the build on modulars um, they are my favourite model for that basis and they do, you know, just build up to a really nice uh, model. So um, manual, absolutely no issues at all, didn't have any problems with that at all, nice and clear and concise. I haven't got the original version obviously so I'm not saying it's not a direct port, 
but it could be their version with the vast majority of the copy. Once again, you get a, a bit of a selection of the extra bricks. Um, it's funny with Leaping because um, you can be dumbfounded and not have a couple of small pieces, which is why if you are looking at Leaping models, make sure that you've got a number of spares. I used to go on eBay and buy up uh, people's old odd collection. You know, not with mini figs and all that nonsense, but you know, buy by the kilo or something, and just get a, a, a mixed bag, and you'd be surprised what you can get hold of, and then just boxed it up and kept black, and, and you know, and you refer to that. So be aware. Um, this kit, not one piece missing, not one little block or a slate or anything missing, but it comes always comes with an extra bag of bits and pieces. And as we go on over the months, um, I'm going to be adding those in because. So far that's my sort of collection of extra bits that I've got from Leaping Models to date. So I was really pleased with that. So a little bag of extra bits and pieces to add to creation, which we will seem to pick up. Now, <coughs> covered this before. Leaping do not make support boards. For a start off, they're always warped, yeah? They're very, very thick. They're probably double the thickness of the Lego board. And if you are butting these up together to match up with other... Um, if you're buying all the Leaping collection, then that's fine. They'll all go on the same height. But if you've got some Lego versions, it's the thinner boards, all right? And these will not go. They will straighten out. You put them in some hot water or put a hairdryer on them and pat them down. They will flatten out very nicely. But they're thick and unwieldy. I'm not saying don't throw, don't throw them away. They'll be useful for something, but I always put the Lego ones on. Okay, so we've got three floors um, and it all comes apart. Watch me open these up. So we'll take that first floor out of the way there. Okay, which has, it's like a little roof garden thing and we've got a little mini fig in there. Don't know what her name is, but I suppose we could call her Doris. Okay, nice little, lots of lovely detail in there. And that does open up. Um, now you'll find that the early modulars didn't decorate inside. But um, what I've started to do for the older ones is I've, I've got like lots of bits and another reason to buy spare parts. You could actually tile it out and, and, and decorate it all yourself. So uh, that's really nice and nice little minifig there. I haven't done a comparison. I don't find the minifigs bad, to be perfectly honest with you. And they're certainly on par with um, things. I mean, there was no complaints about this one kit whatsoever. It was absolutely gorgeous. So the second level comes up once again with Doris number two. And as you can see, we've got no real detail inside. I don't know if you can see the, the wall colours and things. I've attempted to do a bit of colouring on the walls, which you can see on the back, which comes through. But no tiles or anything. So if you've got any spare plates, you can tile it up. And there she is. One thing I will say, the windows. These uh, double openers here um, aren't very good. Um, and I'm by saying that they sort of flop open. Yeah, um, I mean, if you've got a Lego Originals, I'd probably put a Lego Originals. I mean, they're fine. We're not, you know, it's not a big deal. But, you know, for those that are expecting the tolerances to be a little better um, than Lego, that was probably the only thing I could pick up and look at and say, oh, that was a bit cheap. OK, um, looking at the kit on here, just let me get this into a position where I can offer it up to the camera. We've then got the two parts there. We've got the sort of another living area with stairs and that doesn't come apart but we do have another little guy modular down there Mr Burt okay he's the obviously managing the Market Street and I will take some close-up pictures of this um, and post them in the video okay a nice little detail uh, down here around by the gates and so on and a couple of um, baskets with some fruits and things like that. so that's our market area once again it's the it's the great thing we can actually take that lid off there and you could very well let me just try something here team which I should have thought of doing before because uh, let's see if I can snap I won't snap that in but you might be able, let's tip it up hopefully we won't see an accident full thing but you might better see but I'll get some pictures of this anyway and we'll just post them in as a slideshow um, thing. But this would be a great area to populate with other people. You know, that's the thing about these are street scenes. And the one thing about modulars is it's almost like you're creating a doll's house type thing and, and, and the scene. I know we have Lego City where it's all buzzing, but I always find that the modulars, if you're into that sort of building and, you know, 
um, that sort of uh, look to the street and things, you, you've got a bit more going on. Um, it's really cool. So um, there we have it. Okay, that's Marcus Drummond takes things. So what were the what were the pluses? Fantastic build, like a normal modular, no problems whatsoever. Great manual. Everything went together really nicely. There was no issues at all. Um, it's not a massive parts kit. I forget how many parts were in it. Uh, forgive me for that, but um, uh, everything went to well. Well, there wasn't any missing parts. Um, the only what negatives do I have? The windows. It gets as good as that, really. The windows were a little bit floppy, you know, in my words. Um, that's a bit, you know, a bit of a pathetic thing, but they are a bit loose if I'm looking at torrents. But you know, I'm just picking there, really, because everything else is just really, really nice and just goes together. And I haven't had with this feel that some of the other uh, leaping, uh, lepping stuff where it felt a bit um, loose, you know, not. It's strange on some of the things. It's like the uh, snow speeder which I built before and if you've watched that the snow speeder you know they can't do those little um, those joints you know the, the, the little black pegs they just can't make the tolerances they're absolutely rubbish so buy a bag of uh, Lego ones um, if that's what's needed um, and, and yeah <laughs> there is no complaint it's a wonderful piece of kit and if you're going to start building modulars you're going to want this one in the series Okay, and I think roughly for about 50 or quid, including the postage, it's an absolute bargain. It's a lovely little model, it's one for the collection. Um, unless, of course, you win the lottery and you want to buy all your originals. Um, that's about it. Okay, thanks very much for watching. If it's the first time out, please subscribe. There'll be a few more things on the way. We've got Wally coming out. I'm absolutely sat on top of huge amounts of Lepin, along with all the board game stuff that we're doing. Um, things like that so thanks for watching thanks to you peeps out there who've subscribed so far bring your comments on try not to be too harsh um take care and i'll see you again next time take care bye, -bye. <laughs>